I know a lot of you might have been thinking that was a guy under the helmet riding that bike, but no, it is uh, the woman you see in the studio with me, Dana Ninaba. Dana, welcome to Sport at 10, and you are right next to the machine that we just saw in the video there. Just tell me a little bit about what this is and introduce yourself to South Africa because they don't believe that you are capable of getting on this thing. Okay, well, hello guys, I'm Dana Ninova. Um, this is my other half. Oh, oh yes. Really? Yes, definitely. Um, it's a 350 KTM and it is, like I said, it's my other half. We, it carries me when I need it. Um, it's carried me, th this is a new bike, uh -huh. sponsored by Bad Smith All Stars Racing. So I'm so thankful and proud to be associated with their brand. If you had to so be not unsponsored, what would you have to take out of your pocket to buy it? 106,000 Rand. <laughs> yeah, so. Really? I'm very happy that I'm sponsored. We're very happy that you're here. Thank you for bringing your beast. Please come and take a seat with me so we can talk a little bit more about what it is that attracted you to off road riding. Now, I did read, and I, I'm reasonably okay in Afrikaans. So, okay. um, when I was reading about you, they described you as Bealtskwin. Right. Which, uh, for those of you who don't speak Afrikaans, it's picture perfect, beautiful, you know, it starts there. Why would you get on one of these if you're built squirm? Honestly, um, thank you very much, but it has nothing to do with beauty. I think it's absolutely a passion, passion that drives within yourself. It's the reason what made me decide to, you know, take racing up as a career is it has been a passion since a little girl. Maria can fall. So <laughs> and you can, you can hurt so yourself. And no, no, uh, not if you're good, I promise. No, actually, then uh, you do uh, fall. You fall more when you Actually, when let you me throw. just remind you <laughs> that you have fallen and yeah. you have hurt your shoulder and you have gone through bees yeah. and you have not fought. <laughs> I know about the I know bees. Things, <laughs> and you have knows. not finished races. So don't make it sound like, oh no, it's been, <laughs> it's been fine the whole road. It is hard yeah. what you do. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's very physically demanding. And, you know, I speak for everyone in our sports. It, it's so demanding on your body, you know, to train and get physically fit for what we do. People, you know, it's not extreme sport for nothing. Mm. So, no, physically is crazy. And one of the things that got you into this, mm -hmm. you rode from through the Kalahari <laughs> all the way to Namibia, 1,500 kilometers. This was yes. the beginning of your passion for riding one of these babies. Yes, that's correct. Why? It's so well, far, and how was your bum after that? Oh, you don't even want to know, I promise. Because it hurts. <laughs> yeah, you d like I say, you don't want to know. I think we changed the topic, <laughs> very frankly. <laughs> no, but, uh, you know, my, my dad and all of them always do, it's called the Desert Run, uh -huh. and they did every year. So they, my dad did it, and I was like, okay, but please take me with, because, I mean, all the boys are doing it, and everyone was doing it, and I was staying at home. Uh -huh. So I decided, okay, no, let me go with. And they were like, come, come, come. So I got my bike and I got onto the bike and I decided, let's do this. And all the men were going, you know, I can't be the typical girl and stay at the back. So I kind of just had to grin and bear it and I finished. And you finished. I finished, yeah. And then not only that, but the thing that fascinates me is you'll be at these racing events. How do the guys react? They see blue eyes, blonde, one <laughs> meter 80 tall, and then you get on. What do they say to you? What do they think about you when you arrive at the races? Well, usually they don't speak to me. They're very silent at first. <laughs> and I think they kind of want to see what you can do. Uh -huh. You know, at, at first when you arrive, I suppose looking the way you do, people are first okay, you know, to what, what she thinks she's going to do in such a sport. And then it's I a man's game, to be it, honest. It really I mean, is. And so I mean, I just saw when this bike came in, yes. we had three very strong camera guys here, and they were sweating to carry this thing. <laughs> yes. So I would be concerned how you handle it. Well, like I said, physical fitness, but oh well. <laughs> and you race against men? Yes, I do. Um, I have currently been racing in the ladies' class. Uh -huh. um, but until, until someone came into the offices and he was like, a uh, ladies' class isn't racing. So I was like, oh, really? So uh, eventually I said to my parents, listen, guys, I, my ego, I need to prove a point. So I entered OR2 Pro Am and with the guys. So I decided I'm going to race with the guys and see how it lands up. And I thought, you know, if I come sixth, seventh, if I come in the top ten, that's good. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. And I ended finish. I, sec uh, I finished second. Second. Second in the boys' class. So there were all sorts of men behind you eating your all gas. Yes. <laughs> 
and then they just left the course and they're like, no, yes. we're not even, no yes. interviews, we've got nothing to say because <laughs> they got much. beaten by Dana. Yes, yeah. Dana, that's unbelievable. I know, yeah. Where do, where do you want to do with the sport? Where do you see yourself? Because I know that it is a struggle in that they're not enough women to compete against. Yeah. Isn't that a real problem? It really, really is, you know, and my, my drive to, what my drive is to other women is really, they think it's such an intimidating sport. You it know, is. Girls are so like, no, but I think this is a male dominated sport. Girls are very ashamed almost. They think, they think they have to be someone. They think they have to be manly and mm. they need the muscle and the grit and you don't. Like, honestly, you just need drive and passion and that'll take you through. Ultimate dream for you and your motorcycle and you in riding endurance and off-roading. What is your ultimate dream? Where do you see yourself one day? Wow, that's such a big question, actually. You know, y me personally, I set goals per year because my dream is so big and so... Tell us the big dream. <laughs> okay, so my dream is basically to take a championship internationally. So not only competing in South Africa, but competing worldwide. Mm -hmm. And I want to take a championship, not only in women, but in men as well. Oh, wow. You okay, know? that's going to be something else, though. Because my ultimate goal is to tell women what they are made of. Your strength lies within you. You are made of greatness. You know, we all think greatness. We look at idols and stars and big heroes, and we think they're born with it. And honestly, it's not a chosen few. It lies within all of us. So I want to prove to guys and girls out there that it lies within you, really. Preach, that sister. Is, preach. Amen, preach, brother. sister. <laughs> preach. Take it. Take yes. it. That's it. We've run out of time, Dana. I wish I could see you ride out on this, but we can't. We can't even allow that. Heels. All the best. Yeah, you got the heels as well. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for being with us tonight. Thanks we appreciate so much, that you've, guys. I think you've inspired a lot of South African women yeah. to just not worry about it and just take the men on and they can do it, right? Yes, definitely. She gave us a great preach there. Guys. Dana Nienaber doing great things in uh, off-road motorcycling. And now I'll tell you, so there's no chance you'll ever catch me on one, not interested. She's way braver than me. Oh.